Generic greetings and welcome back to Objects in Space. Today's beverage is cranberry juice with a bit of ice in because it is quite warm and, uh, well, that tends to help the situation. So in the previous video I showed you the very bare bones of the game, so it was mainly travelling between different space stations and sectors via the jump network, doing some trading and explaining what the moment to moment's like and how all of these ship systems interact with each other and that sort of thing. However, the big I wouldn't say oversight, but the big thing missing was combat, and there's two reasons for that. Firstly, uh, at that point, I hadn't actually done any combat in the game, so I couldn't obviously commentate on that. And secondly, and I guess this sort of tails into the first part, that the reason I hadn't done it is because it's quite difficult in the campaign. You have to generally, generally, you have to have a jump drive in order to get to the system to do uh, a bounty in order to uh, engage in combat and claim that bounty and also you need weapons and having neither of those was a bit of an issue and indeed somewhat of a hindrance. However, I've played a scenario since then which is a combat scenario and also I've attempted a bounty and I do stress attempted a bounty in the campaign and you might notice that uh, there's no longer a save there because that's how well that went. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, it didn't go so well. I fired all my weapons. I didn't destroy them. They didn't destroy me. I had to run off. But then I was about eight grand's worth of debt because I took out loads of loans. I knew I was going to delete that save. It was all. It was just a test save. You know, me trying to learn the like learn the game and then go back into it. But anyway, what we're going to be doing in this video is trying the combat here. Combat Sarah's. So. An empty star system with just you and five pirates. Your ship is armed with countermeasures, point defense lasers, and eight torpedoes. Now, I. I don't think, in fact, I pretty much know that I won't get this completed. I haven't completed it yet. And the reason for that is, although I understand the systems, there's no fluidity. I don't understand, like, the over overall theme and how you're supposed to, like, play this in the combat side of it. So, I know to launch torpedoes, I know I can stealth up and I can use my countermeasures and all that sort of thing, but I haven't got like a feeling for generally what the best play is. So it's going to be an interesting journey, even if the destination is uh, a big fireball. So we'll click begin and we will load up. So the ship starts as if you just jumped in, which means all of your systems need to turn back on. And um, once we have loaded up, we'll have a look around the, look around the different systems that we haven't... Um, haven't uh, really displayed before. Um, for a start, I'll go over the comms and I'll switch that over to the other mode. There is a you press the uh, the button above uh, tab to uh, switch between these different modes. I didn't know that. Now I do. Uh, this one doesn't have that mode though. So we are in the center there. We can say recenter. We are there, and we've got a couple of clouds. This one here uh, is like electrical storms in there, and the ship can get hit by that and damage. This was um, a diachromatic one, and you can get hit with uh, like gravity waves and such. And then obviously you've got the star in the centre. By the way, yes, don't get too close. You will get a little warm from the temperature there. So, this is the one you normally see. However, there's also now a weapons area. A weapons and countermeasures and such. So, you can see all of our torpedoes here. It shows you the registration of the torpedoes. So, we've got W-2087. It is a type M-12, which is a large torpedo with an explosive warhead. You can get AM warheads as well, and um, there's other, other things available. You've got a battery power, a targeting, uh, well, a target, a solution, and the state. So, currently, this is just sitting in the bay, not doing anything at all. But we can start spinning that up. So, essentially, we're just charging the battery. And you might want to do this before you get into combat because A, it uses a bit of power which also spikes your signature so you're easier to detect and indeed uh, sh get shot at I guess and also uh, there's no downside as far as I can tell from uh, charging these up. So the way the torpedoes work is that you will spin them up and um, you will get a target. You will get a target, and then you'll launch them, and they will home into a target. Um, now you can just launch them as a dummy, uh, as a like a sort of a, a dumb warhead, and they will just target the first thing they lock onto, which can actually be you. In fact, what you can do is uh, some advanced tactics, sort of tow them behind you like mines from Galaxy Quest, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> use them that way, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you're not familiar with uh, a lot of the game. So anyway, let's just have a click on that, and we can see that there is a, there is a ship over there. It's uh, got reactors, RCS, and drive, so it does say an empty area, and uh, we've got some ships. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say go there, and then go there. I'm going to try and go around this, so we'll say engage, and we'll head over there now. Now, because we're using um, a lot of power for the for the warhead, I was a bit worried there for a second. If, oh, hang on, we've also got, let me uh, go to full stop here because we've also got another ship which is coming past us there. Actually, no, that is not a ship. It is something, 
but it doesn't have any signature. It could just be a sensor ghost. So, okay, we'll go back to where we were, there and then there. So, there, and then to there, and then we'll engage that one, and obviously we're going to spin round, and then we'll run out of power, and then uh, it'll fluctuate and fluctuate and fluctuate, but we'll get there in the end. So, while that's doing that, I'll show you a couple of the other things here. So, we've got countermeasures. So, type is CML-2. Don't know what that is. I don't know whether it's flares, chaff, or some sort of EM scrambler. It's just countermeasures. That's the term. And you can drop it. So, you just fling it out the back, and then, hopefully, the target, uh, well, the torpedo will head towards that rather than you. However, you can still get hit by the splash damage. Um, at least that's what it felt like earlier when um, it just missed me and whammed into it by the look of it. We've got also a Kruger PDL, point defense laser I'm guessing, 101, which is on standby. It has an 8 GM range, is that giga miles or giga meters? I don't know what it is. Um, and it has a cooldown time of 4 seconds. So when you enable that, it pretty much deadens your entire reactor, or at least it does on this ship. And it'll try to shoot down uh, things that are coming in. There is another tag. We'll have a click on that. We can see that it does have a uh, reactor drive and RCS as well. So it's heading over there. But uh, what I want to do is um, just sort of go towards this target. And um, actually what I'll do is I'll cancel the autopilot. We'll say engage over there. And we're just going to try and head towards one of these targets. So I can select different torpedo tubes. So that one there, for example. And I can set weapon targets. So what tube one is now targeted at unknown vessel. We know it's got a reactor and drive. No RCS activating at the moment. So it was maneuvering earlier. This one um, is still interesting. Oh, there we go. We've got now a uh, reactor drive and um, RCS as well. So it's maneuvering. This one is... Good grief. It's it's really burning that way, isn't it? Um, problem I have is that I'm going to cancel autopilot. And I want to go for there. And then I want to go around there. And I want to start heading around. The problem is that um, there could be a bit of a problem. Well, it could be an issue here with uh, getting too deep into this. With, like, lots of... Uh lots of enemies but since it's coming that way what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna manually turn the ship like so because that'll give us a better firing solution so I'm gonna fire actually no what I'm gonna do is select torpedo 1 that's already done select torpedo 2 set the weapons target and oh we are yep there's a, a weapon signature so what I need to do is launch and arm and launch and arm now the reason you do them differently is because if you just launch them and not arm them if you just launch this is going to hurt this is going to hurt get away get away quickly <laughs> I'm trying to get away from cancel autopilot I just want to fly away from them go <laughs> um, yeah that's a lot happened in one go there right so what you want to do is launch them and then you uh, uh, activate them and that sort of locks on them. Solution is not good though. Explosion detected. We've hit something. Yeah, so that, that, that first torpedo has actually exploded um, on and around the target. There. Explosion. Alright. Um, so yes, that's there's a reason why you would activate them and deactivate them. If they were dummy, there's another explosion. So both of those are gone and we are not detecting that ship anymore. So the chances are they're gone. Yeah, I think we've destroyed them. I think we've got them. I think we've got them. Hang on. Is there uh, uh, no nothing there? Right. I'm gonna. He I'm heading towards this inside here, and I don't want to do that. So it looks like that worked out. We did manage to destroy them. Type debris. There you go. Yes, we've actually destroyed them. Excellent. Okay. In that case, then plot. Uh, cancel that. I want to go there, and then I want to go there. Actually clear. I want to go there, and then I want to go there and engage that. And let's see if what's in that debris. We might be able to, we might be able to salvage it, um, which is something I'm not done either. Anyway, going back to what I was saying. So if you have a target, which you say I selected the weapon target there, and then I launched it, and then activated it, armed it, it then went right, this is my target, and go. If you didn't set the target, and you fired it out mindlessly, and you could just leave it and then activate it, it would go, right, there's a target, and it would just go straight towards it, whatever it was. Uh, and that can be bad. <laughs> we also got shot off an EM torpedo by the uh, by the feel of it. We, there was an EM uh, hit. In fact, what I'm going to have to do is cancel autopilot because we're just drifting. We've got n we haven't got the energy to move. This is where the game gets into... I wouldn't call it like a... Oh, that's another target. Full stop. 
It's where the game gets into a bit of a, a pickle because it uh, it tries to manoeuvre you, but doesn't have the power. So it keeps doing it and doing it and doing it and making micro adjustments, but those adjustments are not able to correct you enough, so you end up drifting more off course and it gets into this weird cycle. There is a drive. Oh, okay, so I guess that is one of our targets. So I'm just going to set what uh, destination and um, we'll launch it and we'll arm it. Oh! D Right, I've just hit myself with my own weapon. <laughs> and the reason for that is because I targeted target three, now targeted unknown. Right? Which said drive. However, it must have dropped off the scope, which means when I fired it, didn't have a target properly and then just came back around and hit me. So I reckon my drive's broke. Yep, I don't have any drive. I have RCS only. Well, that was suboptimal. Right, so what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go back to the main menu and we'll try that again. But, that's the sort of thing you can expect. As I said, haven't got the overall feeling of how combat is supposed to work. I just know that I can launch torpedoes and things happen and sometimes they disappear and sometimes I do. Hmm. But that's just what it is. It's what it's like. I like it's. Uh, it is very much like. Um, I wouldn't really say World War. You could sort of World War Two, World War Two Cold War stuff, I guess, um, because you know, it's not like a magnetic uh, detonator or a physical hitty one. It's actually like you know proper. It can ping and work out itself. What's going on? So we're going to plot there. We'll engage that target. And uh, obviously we are going to start uh, to spin up these weapons as well, but we'll wait until we've uh, gained some more power. There we go. What I'll probably do is set it so we'll go that away as well. All right. But what I'll do... No, that'll be fine. Start spinning these drives up. So a lot of things went on there very, very quickly in uh, rapid succession because we can't pause the game, but yeah. Um, I think they hit me with an EM. Uh, with an EM mine, or at least we were clip there was an explosion somewhere. Um, then it was one of my torpedoes exploded. It must have done some damage. It said explosion detected. And then the other one exploded and then we found debris. So that's probably saying that, yeah, we have actually uh, <laughs> destroyed those. So we're just going to head down here it's, 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 until we find the first target. That's all that's about, really. I'm just going to keep spinning these up, you see. Um, I'm going to cancel the autopilot and just drift. Just drift, to be honest. In fact, what I'll do, I will, um, I'll go over to here, burn the ship, I'll turn the ship around, manually. Oh, low power. There we go. Uh, weapon spin up failed. Yeah, if you don't fully spin the weapon up, it just fails, so that's a problem. And I'm just burning here, just to take some of my speed off. I'm just going to bleed about half my speed off. There we go. That's fine. That's all I wanted. So we're not travelling as far, you see. Ah, and there we go. There's a target. Reactor and drive. Okay, so we want to uh, turn the ship towards them. There we go. And we want to start spinning up another torpedo. We will select the first weapon, ready to launch. I will set the weapon's target at that. Target one unknown. Better sensors will be good. Set that. Target tube two, now targeted unknown. No IFF. Not moving. They're now spooled. Well, sp span up. I'm gonna... Oh, it's still moving. Oh, drive RCS and weapons. Yep, it's okay. That's all kinds of bad. So I'm going to fight before I can. First torpedo launched. Second torpedo launched. Target unknown. Enable. Arm. Second one. Unknown. Our targeting solution is terrible, though. We need to wait for the solution to uh, increase. There we go. There's torpedoes detected, and they're coming towards me. Okay. I'm going to... Arm mine, that's the best I can do, and activate point defense. And also probably drop countermeasures. We'll zoom in. And I will So there's the there's that coming towards me. 
However, it is heading towards my countermeasures. Hear that bang noise there? That was the lasers. Brace for impact. Count okay, countermeasures have been hit. There we are. Okay. There's another explosion there. I want to plot there and engage. I want to turn away from this. And get away from that where that torpedo could possibly hit me. That's another explosion detected. However... Another explosion detected, but I don't think... Oh, is that debris? I'm not sure. Uh, let's turn off that uh, point defence because it just saps all of your power. There we go, look, debris. Yes, I think we destroyed the target. Okay, so we're just going to spin round here. To about there. And I'm waiting for that line to roughly point... Well, that way, actually, because it's more your more the tail of the ship rather than the direction of travel. There we go. Well, all I'll do is I'll say plot. Wait for us to get some more power, then we'll engage over there. So that was a bit better. A bit sloppy, but a bit better. Uh, it is a little bit clumsy to to um, engage targets, but that's I think that's the point that you don't have direct control, like with a joystick and controlling the <laughs> the torpedo manually. It's all about this. Well, it's all about again using the ship systems and doing it that way. But doesn't it doesn't seem to be deliberately? Um, let me cancel the autopilot there. Wait until we get more power. Yeah, it doesn't seem... It seems to be deliberately made to be like that. Not deliberately annoying or rather unintentionally annoying because it's just terribly designed. It's, uh... You know, it's supposed to be... Like this. Rather than, uh... It's just terrible. Let me just engage. I want to just get towards that. That's going to use all the power and then that won't... Yeah. I should really get better reactor and to be fair this is a problem because um, that's coming in okay what I'm gonna do is set weapons target select that uh, ready to launch but I don't want to launch it what I do want to do though is turn the ship around no we still don't have enough power it's, this is often the problem oh, I'm heading straight into an asteroid field as well oh god oh and this is getting so close I can't lo I can't launch a torpedo at that distance can I Yes, I can, and an arm it. Oh, 4% uh, weapons, 4% uh, targeting solution. It's not going to work out. Uh, I'm going to turn around because there's going to be a massive explosion. I'm getting pinged. I'm getting pinged. Right. Go silent. Did that hit? I don't know. I don't know if that missed and just clipped the... Uh, Don't know if that just clipped the. Just clipped the decoy. There's asteroid damage. Just trying to get out of that. Still the target going, but I don't have a torpedo ready to go. Hang on. Uh, comms is down. Yeah, comms is all kinds of broke. Let's disconnect, open that. What's broke on it? Oh my good grief. Yeah, um... This is a problem. Look at all the components that are burnt out. The comms are just... There, the comms are knackered. Okay, <laughs> we can just... We can give up on those things. They're just all kinds of broke. Come on. Plot. Clear. We're just taking damage from this... Asteroid field. Let's just get out of it. It's still heading off, and it's not firing any more torpedoes. So I think the way to play this is wait for them to launch torpedoes and then chase after them. That seems to be the uh, the solution. Okay. So I will now spin up another torpedo. They are heading off in that direction. Probably going to go through the asteroid field. But we can handle that. I'm going to change the weapon target. So number four is now targeted at that. I don't know how to increase the solution. I think you just launch it and then you wait. Now, what's my speed? Not fast as I can go. Now we're at max speed. There we are. 
So that's fine. We'll spin that one up and we'll make sure that we are targeting that one. Change weapons target to number four. Launch it. 100% weapon solution. Arm. There it goes. And it's away. Torpedo away. Yep, torpedo's away. Right, I want to plot there. And there. And I want to head around. Actually, no, you know what I do? I want to cancel that. I actually do want to check out that. Full stop. more efficient than trying to go around something where it's doing loads of uh, <laughs> loads of manoeuvres. don't think that torpedo is fast enough. Do we get a relative speed? No, we get distance. By my reckoning... Um... It's actually not updating as fast as that one. That should be catching up to him. Yeah, that is catching up, I think. <laughs> we're probably going to detect a. We're probably going to detect something. Uh, it's currently its solution's going down, but its battery's only on fifty-five percent. So it's still got a ways to go. So we're okay there. Let's spin up another torpedo. We're probably going to hear another bang any second now. <laughs> or rather, we'll probably uh, get the alert that we've... Um, the alert that that's happened. But um, I did show you this uh, this stuff here, the damage and things, uh, in the previous video. But I, I did explain that, you know, I haven't actually had any damage and um, things like that. Explosion detected, yeah, there you go. Um, so is that functional? Yeah. Um... I explained that, you know, these things can be damaged. Um, and this is this is how, really. This is like uh, you know, electric uh, strikes and stuff like that. So we need a HAP node. A HAP node. Two of those we need. And also... Oh, sorry. A HN4, HN4, and STB8, which is the... Uh, STB? Which is the, sh uh, the short buffer, right? We could probably cannibalize something else. Um... Put them. Close that. Uh, we probably cannibalize. I don't know all sorts, but we don't really need to. Um, that's damaged as well. Let's open that. What is damaged in it? Um, that's broken out. That's um, burnt out as well. So it's. Um, ah, it's a lot less efficient. Ah, that's why. Okay. Let's just connect that up. So, um. It looks like they got away. They are running away now. That's understandable. Uh, but I also now have the debris. I wonder if I can... transfer things over. Debris. Pod none. Context none. No, there's nothing there. Shame. Grand Banks. Uh-oh. Jumped in my cargo. <laughs> Empty standard cargo pod has been jettisoned. <laughs> I know you could. Just didn't know why you would. There you go. Anyway. So that's... Oh yeah, that's... That's all flickering now. We probably need to fix that at some point. Uh, we do have another target coming in. It does have a signature. So I will select that. I will... Turn to face. And start going towards it a little bit. At about half speed. So we'll go over to this. Spin that up. We're going to select those. Set the weapons target for both torpedoes. There we go. And the question is do I want to. Do you want to get closer? We'll go on max speed now. Whoa, that jumped. I think, quite frankly. Launch. And launch. So those are launched. I'm going to plot over there and engage. I'm going to head away. 
Torpedoes are heading towards that, that direction, see that? They were heading that way because that's the way I was pointing, and now... Do I want to arm them? Are they just... Are the status already active? They're tracking. You can uh, unlink them, but their solution would be really garbage, actually, which is a shame. Let's spin around so I get most, I get sensors. Explosion detected. Oh, that's not good. So what's happened is that tag's been detected, uh, sorry, been destroyed, and now this torpedo is free floating. It had no target. So it's when, ooh, there's a target, I'll head towards those. That target happens to be me. Luckily, I do still have this, um, <laughs> have this connected, so I can disable that. So it will just travel. <laughs> That's okay. So we can now, if we really wanted to, there's an unknown target there. I can uh, set the weapons target on that one for that, and it should be... Why is it not heading towards that? That. Disable. Right. Oh, it's because they've dropped off the scope. That's why. Okay. So this target is now just heading in this direction. So they're heading over there. They're going that way. I mean, I could say target that. And um, it'll head that way. See the torpedoes turning around and heading that way? I don't think it'll ever reach there, honestly. Um, and it's dangerous to fire it at this this distance anyway, but hey-ho, and we'll engage that, and we'll see if we can get closer to it. And again, we'll run out of power. I don't think the autopilot's the way to fly at the moment. Cancel autopilot, just because the drive's so inefficient. Full stop's my best option. And then just fly it manually. It takes ages to slow down. <laughs> but I think that's uh, really the the sort of moment to moment of of the combat point that way and we'll thrust All right. however this one's never going to reach its target it's on 24% battery and going down it's not even halfway oh it's about halfway there I think that'll run out before before it gets there so as I said able to destroy all my targets I don't know I've got three of them down oh have I hang on Oh no, cargo 22. That's the one I'd like. That's my cargo pod. <laughs> right, okay, fair enough. Yeah, so, it, it... I mean, it is obviously possible to to win this, but not with my skill set, sadly. N not when that guy's heading out into the void. <laughs> That's not going to happen. How's that other torpedo? It's 1%. Um, I'm going to unlink, and it means I, just, I, I don't have control of it anymore. I don't know why you would unlink it. I don't really see any reason for that. Maybe if you can reload torpedoes or something. Maybe that's why. But I really don't know. Either way, that torpedo is now... Drifting, I think. I think it'll be out of power and it'll just be sort of drifting over that way. So I want to sort of go there. And then go that way. And we'll just say engage and we'll let the computer use all my power. Oh no, we did actually manage to. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. It's still RCSing. There we go. So, we're still tracking the torpedo, but, you know, once you fire some it, then it might be a ship. It might be the planet behind that ship. And other Mass Effect 2 quarts are available. And, oh dear, there's a ship right behind me as well. That's, no, it's gone. Say ship, it was a sent, it was a reading. There's driving reactor. On that one. They are stationary, though. So I'll have to select that weapon. Set a weapon target. Select that weapon. Set that weapon target. Ready to launch, but I'll wait until I get closer. What happens if I turn my IFF on, by the way? Will they all just come towards me? <laughs> Could be like the worst thing ever. I'm, I'm hoping they go, oh, there's a, there's a ship. Mm. Don't think it's going to happen. Let's deactivate the IFF. I'm just wasting power and making more. Oh, and they've dropped off the scope anyway. Dandy. <laughs> so, oh no, there's one. Is that them there? 
That could be them. That could be them. We need to get a a better idea, really. Time compression. Warning, time compression cut back to 10%. Sorry, to 1%. Why is that? Well, probably because we're going to go through this storm. There's more debris there. So one debris, two debris, three debris. So there's only two more ships. Actually, there can't be. There's one there. And there's one out there. It is possible. It is possible. What we'd have to do is we'd have to go all the way around and shoot that and then go over there. And Yeah, I mean, it's possible we can um, destroy these. But either way, I think we'll full stop and we will call it there. Because that is pretty much what I want to show you, the, the combat of it. And as I said, I'm not uh, at all proficient in the combat of this game. In fact, I'm not proficient at, well, A, this game and B, anything. But that's the best I can do. Um, that's shown you how to launch torpedoes, it's shown you countermeasures, and only countermeasures, but you've got your, uh, the countermeasures are the ones you drop, then you've got your points defence laser as well. Had very limited success with that, but it means you can just enable it, and it'll crack on and do its own thing, which is quite good. So that's uh, pretty good. If I, if I had a better, a better reactor, we could probably run that all the time, but um, as you can see, as soon as you put it on, yeah, you, there should be a power spikes, and yeah, you, you're going to be seen from galaxies away. But yeah, I, I like the combat of the game. I like that it's um I like they have to like target your different your different uh well you have to target the different things, your ships and that. And your uh the, the control of it is such that you're not under direct control of it. You just have to sort of trust your sensors and everything else and hope for the best really, and that's a sensor ghost. And that isn't. And, uh, solution nil. Why well, it's got no solution? Either way, there's torpedoes out. <coughs> at whatever it is I'm firing at. <laughs> yeah, I do like the way the way the the handles combat. Obviously, it can be annoying at times, and. Um, you flick between the different screens and such is, uh, yeah, can be quite problematic at times. But it is what it is. It seems to fit the uh, kit quite well. No solution, so that's probably not going to hit. Because we haven't got another up-to-date uh, bead on it, that's why. Either way, that has been a little bit of the combat in Objects in Space. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of this or the things about it, means let me know in the comments. Hmm. Today's beverage has been quite nice. As always, thank you very much for watching. Ooh, hang on. There are, there are, there is, there's some comms traffic. Ah, man, the top it is going over there. Right, we'll call it there. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. And you would finish the video eventually.